Hi guys, welcome to our video 1.5, isotopes. So, what's an isotope? Well, an isotope basically when you have two different atoms that have the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Yeah, there's a fancier definition to that, but this is what you have to memorize. Isotope, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Okay, but it's still the same element. Why is that? Well, if they have the same number of protons, they have the same atomic number, just a different mass number. And remember, same number of protons, same atomic number, same number of protons means same element. Okay, so pretty much all elements have one or more isotopes, each with a different mass. And like I pointed out in the last video, the atomic mass here is a weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes, right? There's no single carbon with a mass of 12.0111. It's a weighted average of carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14, which are the most common ones. There's 99 something percent of carbon 12 and much, much teenier percentages of 13 and 14. And we're going to do some practice actually doing the math on these weighted averages in class. All right, so here's just a picture kind of example here that we can take a look at. All right, so here, carbon-12, there's six protons and six neutrons with a mass of 12 AMU. Carbon-14, in this case, there's six protons and eight neutrons. We add them up, we get an atomic mass of 14 AMU. Okay. So we're going to practice doing the weighted averages in class, but for the most part with isotopes, as long as you remember same protons, different neutrons, you'll be in pretty good shape. All right, question time. Okay. Very simple multiple choice questions based on what you've learned, and we'll go over them in school, and I'll see you guys at school.